everybody. Thanks for joining me. This is Kay back at it with a new vlog. Today I want to talk about an article that I saw um, online in the Business Insider about Iowa. The Iowa Republicans want to cut the SNAP program. Now the SNAP program is like a, a food supplementary that, you know, it helps you buy groceries, of course. And what the Republicans want to do is they want to say, well, hey, we don't want our uh, fellow uh, uh, Iowans to be able to uh, buy meat, bread, and some other items they name with the SNAP money. What they're saying is they want to limit what you can buy if you receive SNAP benefits from Iowa. Now, is that right? Are they able to say, hey, you can't buy meat, you can't buy cheese, you can't buy flour, you can't buy this, you can't buy that, all because you own the SNAP program. You know, does that make you less human because you're down on your luck? And what makes it even worse is that what they're saying is because you're down on your luck, you're not allowed to enjoy good food. You can't have any ice cream. You can't even drink a pop. Now, don't get me wrong. If those things are bad for you, I get it. But shouldn't you be able to buy whatever you want to? You know, why is it that when people are doing somewhat better than others, they look down on the, on the person that's struggling at the moment? I, you know, I don't get it. You know, uh, because you don't have any money or you don't have enough money, does that mean that you're not allowed to eat? what everybody else eat. Isn't that a, a form of punishment? You know, and then let's go here with it. You know, they've been doing this for decades, saying that, you know, people are abusing the SNAP program or food stamps or whatever the new word is for today. But really and truly, the people that's on it probably need it. You know, I mean, look at inflation. Look how much food costs these days. How do you feed your family if you are on, you know, public assistance or if you're minimum wage? You know, I once read an article that most of the people that work at, and I'm not picking on this store, but I won't even name it, that it's a big retail that they don't make enough money to be able to buy food. So the government supplements their employment with SNAP or food stamps. Now, if the company was doing right by them, wouldn't they give them enough money where they wouldn't have to do that? No. So back to the food thing in Iowa, why should these people have to eat things that the ones that's making this rule wouldn't even eat? It's like a, a form of, of punishment. You know, because you're on SNAP, you're not allowed to eat steak. You can't have a potato. You can't have bread. You can't have flour. You can't have this. You can't have that. And you know, and, and here's the thing. We always look at uh, the people in need as the only ones to get something from the government. And that's the furthest thing from the truth. Let's go over this little list of some of the things that people get from the government. For one, public assistance, the SNAP program, you know, some cash, medical insurance, Medicaid, Medicare, vaccines. I'm sure you heard of vaccines, right? Okay, affordable housing, FHA. FHA is the one that put me in my first house and I was working at the time and FHA uh, helped me out 
with only letting me put down 3%. Then you got Section 8. Section 8 helps a lot of low-income people that they can uh, somewhat afford where they live. Shelters for the poor. Low-income housing. Then you got uh, retirement assistance for seniors. You got grants and loans. So if you want to go to school, start a business, the government will help you out with that. Uh, you got... Uh, things for the military and veterans. And we know we appreciate their hard effort in keeping us all safe. You got financial aid for students, road and bridge work, a child care assistance program, tax deductions and credits, farm subsidies for the farmers, disability, uh, disaster assistance relief, federal tax credit and for new uh, EVs, which is the electrical vehicles. Then you got tax credits for businesses to start a new business or create a business so people can have a job. So you, as you see, it's not just the poor people. Everyone benefits from the government. It's just that uh, some of us, we turn our nose up at the ones that we can easily spot. But rich people, they tell you all the time, they pay little to no taxes. Go figure. What did Warren Buffett say one year? Did his secretary pay more taxes than he does? Now, how does that work? This man is a billionaire, and his secretary is probably paycheck to paycheck. So how could that be? So when we, we roll our eyes, we really should roll them up at everybody because everybody benefits from the government. It's not just uh, poor, down, out people. It's everyone. Everyone gets something from the government. You know, if, we, if the government didn't subsidize milk and eggs and all these other things, we would be paying a lot of money for it as well as... Uh, gas fire vehicles and this and that. Every, everybody benefits from the government. Everyone. And then what's the old saying, and I'm going to leave it on this note. You know, they may be down today. You might be possibly down tomorrow. And then once you get in that position, you'll probably better understand that, you know, it's not good to, to look down on people when they're in need because it could be them today and possibly you tomorrow. So that's all I have for you. Again, this is Kate, back at it with a new vlog. Take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.